He got me. <laughs> it's silly. Hey guys, welcome back to Jason Joni Builds. Uh, we are back in the shop today, going to do something a little bit different. So uh, before we get into that, I just wanted to uh, say congratulations to Ridgecrest Robotics. My daughter Presley, she's on the team. They uh, they did really good this weekend. They placed first place in robot. Did a really good job. That's where we were. That's why we didn't have a video up. So uh, they are on to the championships in Auburn. So that'll be that'll be real interesting. So they got about three or four weeks before that comes. So anyways, just want to say congratulations to them. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to replace the wheel tubs and the Bronco. And uh, I know you guys are thinking I'm crazy because I saved them. This is one of the things that was original to the Bronco, the wheel tubs and the firewall. But the more I look at it, the more it bothers me and uh, it's call it OCD, call it whatever you will. My issue with it is painting behind it is there is, I don't see any way that I'm going to be able to get it painted correctly, not with my ability. <laughs> and it's, it's just a really tight spot and uh, I don't know if Jeremy can see that. Um, just, just sort of look over the edge there, Joni. Like right in here and right in there around the around the firewall. But anyways, what I'm going to do, the, these were not perfect. I had to do some repairs. This one had a, a problem oil canning, which is sometimes when you get stress in your part just from if it ever been hit or um, just when you welded it in. This one I did a repair on it and it was just popping, you know, it pop up, pop down and you know, I had to put a brace underneath it and I'm just not happy with it. And uh, so anyways, I, I'm just gonna change them. But the, what I'm gonna do different is when I pull these out, I'm gonna bolt them in. All right, bear with me. So these things, <laughs> <laughs> these things are spot welded in. So Johnny's getting tired of holding the camera. These things are spot welded in all along the edge, right? And then they're spot welded to your front braces at your core support and behind. So it's no stronger than a bolt. And I'm gonna put quarter inch bolts. So I'm gonna go all the way around it. That way when, I, when it comes time to paint it, just like it's sitting here, I can pull those out. I can paint the wheel wells. I can paint the, uh, the firewall and then I can bolt them back in. You never see them because the, it bolts from underneath. It's a, it's a pinch lip all the way around the bottom. I can put the fenders back on. You'll never know it unless you're underneath the Bronco. And still, unless you knew Broncos, you'd never know that anything was different. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So uh, stay tuned, let's see how this thing turns out because I really think it's gonna make my life easier in the future, in the near future. So let's get started. Okay, so um, I looked around, I had to call around several different suppliers because uh, I don't know if you guys are running into what I am. Uh, some, of these, uh, some of these parts aren't in stock and I think it's had something to do with all that mess out in California and the, and the container ships. But anyways, uh, I was able to find a set of uh, wheel tubs. I got these from Tom's, he actually had them. Uh, and if you'll notice, this is the newer style. This is the most popular style if you're going to have power brakes and uh, power steering. So that was one thing I never checked on mine was the, the steering column. I know it passed my power steering box, but this right here, this is the design. I think it was somewhere in the mid-70s. So... Um, so if you look at it, it's got this break across the top, so it gives you a little bit more room up here at your booster. You have a little bit more room in here where your, uh, your steering column is, more around your power steering box for your hoses and all. So, um, so that's the difference. When you get the passenger side, the passenger side looks just like the, like the original. The difference on the passenger side, the only thing I can really see is Ford has a, a lip that basically just goes around here, it's turned out, and it's basically what that does is just give this a little bit of strength in, in your horizontal axis. 
but but these parts look good. Um, they're spot welded nice. So what I'll do today is we'll just get them fitted in, and then probably this afternoon I'll uh, scuff them and get them primed after we've done all the work that we want to do. So again, I know you guys are thinking, why didn't you do this to start with? Well, sometimes you spend bunches and bunches of money and you think, well, I'll be happy with those. Well, if you guys, you that have been following me probably remember when I used to talk about dang it spots. Well, this was a dang it spot for me. It's just what, something I just kept walking by and kept thinking, I'll get used to it. Well, I can't. I've done too much work to this thing to have something that's not really nice. So we're going to cut it out. All right, let's get these things in. All right, so the first thing I did, guys, I took a pencil and I outlined where this tub is because the tub is placed properly. And I was checking the measurement off of this back edge on the original and the back edge of this new one. And they're about a half inch off. So hopefully when I set it up here, we'll, I'll be able to kind of fine tune it and get this thing placed. So, but all the other dimensions look about right. And as you guys can see, this is the original 66. It doesn't have any of those impressions or that, um, that relief for the power steering bot or the power brake booster. So, all right, let me get my saw, Joey. Okay, so before I started, guys, on my body lift, I've got my, uh, my points lag screwed down to the lift. So once I cut this loose, my front end doesn't um, pull out a square. So everything should stay where it's at. I made sure it's, if, if it needed shimmed or anything, but all that's pulled tight. So make sure you do that if you're gonna do this too, but just get that locked down. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cutoff wheel and I'm just go right just, in, just inside this lip and make this cut. And then I'm just gonna cut around each one of the supports, front and back, and get the bulk of it out. And then what I'll do is just kinda methodically go to each one of the spot welds and, and grind it. And I just, I don't wanna pop back through my steel here. we we'll just grind it and keep working it off until I get all that metal peel back off. We'll clean it and uh, work on that here in a second. So we got the bulk of it out. So now what I want to do is, I don't know if the video shows it, but these spot welds, what I'll do is I'll just kind of concentrate around those a little bit and get all those ground off so I can get this steel off of the support. I'll do the same thing right up in here. And this front support. So I don't think I'm gonna make Joni <laughs> stick in here for this. It's just it's just grinding. She might hang out for a minute. Watch me get a couple off, but uh, we'll get this cleaned up and I'll call her back out here and we'll show you what we've got before we put it back together. Oh she's fussing at me about my my grinder. It's dangerous. I understand that guys. I said it before I, I need to get get one with a guard on it because I've I've misplaced a guard. So, um, he might misplace that grinder and not realize it. So, anyways, use your grinder like you're supposed to. Don't follow my example with that. Yeah, it's close. Yeah. 
Um, come around here so they can see this. I didn't drill them out because I want to, I want to be the one that determines where I put my bolts. And so what I'm doing is I can get this outer layer really hot. You can see where it's turning blue is that lets me know I'm getting close to grinding all the way through and I won't go all the way into my support behind. So if you do that, you'll, you'll just start seeing it blew up and you know that you're getting close and I should be able to take my pliers and kind of rock it back and forth until I break these spot welds out. That one turned loose right there. It's basically the same thing. I'll just keep doing that all the way down. See how that's working, Johnny? Yep, that's pretty cool. So you just have to keep working it out, and then I'll be able to grind that off, and then then I can make. The decision where the, the holes are at. Just like that. So that piece is not bad, but this is the kind of stuff that you that you ever you can't ever get to. You know, you sandblast it, and this has had a little bit of rust underneath it. So now we'll we'll clean that up really nice and use that original support there. So Johnny's <laughs> Johnny's gonna step out for a minute. She's getting ready. She's putting together a little Halloween party for the girls, you know, tomorrow. So she's got a bunch of things she wants to do. So I'm gonna continue on with this and get this pulled out and I'll call her back out when I get ready to start fitting this panel in. So it'll be what, two seconds? <laughs> For them, it will be about two seconds. Right. For us, you're, I got a lot of work to do and you have a lot of work to do. Yeah, this will, this will take me about 30, 45 minutes. All right, so here we are, guys. Uh, not so quick, <laughs> but the next day. Anyways, uh, we got I got both of them cut out. Uh, I already have this one bolted in, uh, just sort of temporarily. I'll, I'll kind of go over with what I'm doing. But this is, I just wanted to give you this shot real quick. This is what I'm talking about, guys, as far as being able to work the body, uh, the firewall now. I can really get in here and get all this really nice. Seam seal it like it's supposed to, make sure all my welds are ground nice and pretty. Paint it, and then I can bolt this uh, wheel tub back in. Anyways, I like this idea. I'm not advocating you guys do this to yours. I'm just saying this is how I'm gonna do mine. I, I tend to overthink things and this makes me happy inside. <laughs> <laughs> so, cause I really had a lot of anxiety on how you paint this in here and it looked worth anything. I know nobody will ever see it. And it, I know that the paint will dust when you're trying to spray in there and I'll see it and oh. it'll drive me batty. So this way I can get in there and get it like it's supposed to, put the tubs back on, it'll look nice. So. So let's finish this up. So all I need to do now is just bolt this thing up and then we need to mark our holes. And uh, I'll show you on the tub kind of what I did. So guys, I, I alluded earlier in the video that Johnny's been worried about my grinder. And, and honestly, I, I should have done this well before now, but that other grinder has just been so good to me. But she went out and bought me a new Metabo, you know, four and a half inch grinder. So it's got the guard on it like I need. And uh, I'd taken the other one off for some reason and never replaced it. And then I, I just couldn't find the part. So I'm gonna be safe. You guys don't make those mistakes. I, I see people get hurt on the internet all the time. So uh, they show pictures of their, of their injury. So she's got me doing the right thing. So thank you, Johnny. You're welcome. So what I did first guys was get this thing laid up there where it needed to be. And that took me a couple hours of kind of pulling pushing, pulling, lifting, putting it down with pliers and getting it exactly where I want it. Because I'll be honest, this thing with all these crazy angles and I know they are they were making room for the master cylinder and booster and all, but it I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> it's not, I don't like the, the product. I just don't like the way it looks in the Bronco. It looked much better with the, the flat top 
but I understand why they did this, so we won't get into all that. So as you see, I have a two inch spaced bolt pattern. It'll have washers on it. You'll not see any of these bolts unless you crawl up underneath my Bronco, and you have as much tear out with these bolted connections. I'm gonna use grade eight bolts, uh, quarter 20 grade eight bolts all the way around as you would spot welds. So this, uh, I know it's a whole bunch of bolts, but I know we'll have, I'll have the strength that it needs. What I did is I put it in, I kind of reached in there with a pencil and outlined my supports. And then I came in and drilled out my holes. I did have to move the one support on the firewall back here because for whatever reason, this one has just a little bit different bend and this kind of um, pushed in a little bit closer to the firewall. But it's the same thing here. You can see my pencil marks. That's about all there is to it. Okay, so the first thing, is get my lineup holes in first. Do you need me to hold it? Thank you, man. Okay, I know these aren't grade eight, these are zinc, but this is just what I have right now uh, as far as the bolts, but I am gonna put grade eight. And another reason I wanna use grade eight is because they don't have, uh, they have a better corrosion resistance than the zinc coated. Well, and this is not permanent. You're taking it back off, right? Right. So this is just so I can mark the holes and we can drill out all the holes for the, where we bolt it up. Like I said, these are all my lineup holes. Oh, that's ugly. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you're not going to see it. <laughs> what part are you looking at ugly? Just your bolts on the outside. Oh. <laughs> right. But I know you're not going to see it. I'm just yeah. picking at you. I know. <laughs> well, I thought you were looking at this thing in here. That, that is ugly. Well, nobody's going to see that going down the road. So. Well, okay, well, it's one of those things. It's like beauty or function. Oh, I know. It's, it, it functions fine, and it looks like... Most others, unless they have custom wheel wells, but. But I mean, if you think about it, if it's looking from this angle, it's not that bad. And once you have the engine in there. Well, let me show you what I kind of what what bugs me is I, I can take a straight edge and I I ran a straight edge across the top, and so my measurement here is within honestly it's within about three sixteenths from here to the other side. So it's, it's pretty level. I, I couldn't get it perfectly level, but I was kind of being a little crazy with it and I knew it, so I stopped. This, this dimension here is the same on the both sides. So it's just, it's just wonky. You know, you look at all these weird angles and it just looks weird. So it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to, but. Well, like I said, stare straight in, it doesn't look that bad. Looking at it from the side, it looks pretty terrible. Right. So, but it all bolts up really good. It's all nice and square. So let me uh, get all this tight. All right guys, so the only bolts that you'll see from the top is if you look down beside the supports. I'm gonna use a, a shorter bolt so they don't stick out so much. So you'll see them right in here. You'll see them right behind this support and then underneath the battery tray. So you won't see any of the bolts and you know, all this will be pulled down tight. You know, I know I need to come back in here and, and reprime this and kind of clean it up so you don't see my, my grinder marks and all where I was cutting the old one out. But anyways, I had to do a little bit of work in here anyways. This was the last portion of body work to the tub that I needed to do. So this is a great step. I can get these back out of the way later. And cause you can see when I, when I primed this after we sandblasted it, apparently I didn't get up under here very good. And I got a little bit of 
uh, rust kind of leaching back behind that seam. So I'll brush that out and we'll get some uh, some edge primer back in there behind it. So some converter, get that taken care of and get it sanded. So this is the time for all this. So basically we're done back here, moving forward and get close. All right, so let's mark these holes. So what I'm doing is, you know, you can see I've already got the hole in the panel and all this is tightened right where I want it. So I can come back in and mark all the holes for the rest of the bolts. You can see all my, my spots. So I'll come in here, get all these drilled out. And I'm going to drill it just with a smaller bit to start with, and that way I can step back on the other side and, and drill them through. Then I'll just knock the burr off before we set it back up here. And now I'm just drilling the quarter inch hole you know, where I went through my pilots, my pilot holes there. All right, so I'm just gonna take my, my soft wheel and come in here and knock the little burrs off the back so we don't have those kind of in between the, the two pieces. All right, so we have our, our holes sanded down behind. Everything's drilled. So let's go ahead and get this put in. And I'm gonna start off with my original light up holes again because I'm sure some of these I'll probably have to ream just a little bit because I didn't drill them in place. But I didn't drill them in place for a reason because I didn't want that little shard to get in there between it. So. And then when I put this on final, I will have uh, washers on both sides and that gives you even more clamping force. Not worried about it at the moment. All right, guys. So here it is installed. Um, it, you know, to me, I'm, this is one thing I'm really glad I did. I, <laughs> I uh, like I've said several times on this video already, this this was a, a great source of anxiety for me. So I'm glad I did this. It's real strong. It's got 30 bolts in it. <laughs> so I have 30 bolts on each side. Well, this one I have a little bit more because it has one more brace up front. But anyways, it's it's in there. It's not going anywhere. So I don't think it's going to give me any trouble. So we can get all these painted. I can have these lined like I want. I can line the firewall. And this can just be one of the pieces that bolts in. And the main thing is uh, I did this while everything was bolted securely to my uh, body cart here. So I know that it's uh, stayed in check and square so anyways uh we appreciate you guys hanging out today and uh we'll be back next week getting some more stuff done because i'm getting ready to get some color on this thing the weather's getting right uh, it's i would rather spray this thing a little bit cooler weather anyways so and that's coming so thank you guys for hanging out please subscribe if you haven't uh you guys have a great halloween and we'll See you next time. Y'all take care.